So today, we have two mega powerhouses going head to head. Blue Marvel versus Superman. Who wins? Let's find out. So, after being exposed to the negative zone, Adam Brancheer became the only man to store and generate antimatter in his body, which gave him many powers and abilities, and he became known as Blue Marvel. Antimatter is just matter, but the particles are of the opposite charge. One gram of this is equal to one of the nukes dropped in World War II and can power New York City for 24 hours. Just letting you know that. He has superhuman strength as he was able to lift the island of Manhattan, can, uh, can hold his own against guys like Thor and Sentry, and he sent Red Hawk flying with a punch before. He has nine vulnerability as he survived a hydrogen bomb blowing up in his hands unfazed. Uh, he can f run, move, and fly much faster than supersonic speeds. He can manipulate his anti antimatter for many purposes, like projecting concussive force bolts, projecting stun bolts, and he, he can release a massive omnidirectional pulse of devastating power. He can also control how destructive these blasts are. Uh, he can manipulate matter and energy as well. He's a genius in the field of theoretical physics and in his study of antimatter. And finally, he's a trained fighter as well. He's also a skilled strategist and tactician due to being in the military before all this happened. And in the other corner we have Superman. As a Kryptonian, Superman's uh, cellular structure is much, much more dense, resilient, and biologically superior than human tissue. He also has superhuman physical attributes as long as he absorbs yellow solar energy, aka light from the, the sun or other stars. The limit of his strength is unknown, but he can lift way over 100 tons with ease, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Darkseid and Doomsday, and overpower other powerful heroes like Wonder Woman and Supergirl. He can move, run, fly, and react faster than the speed of light. His exact speed is unknown, but it's said that he's slower than the Flash. While on Earth, he usually sticks to supersonic speeds due to the destruction he can cause. He has superhuman agility, reflexes, and stamina. He has nigh invulnerability, as he has high resistance to explosions, energy tags, and you have to be on his strength level to hurt him with blunt force trauma. He survived Dark Side's Omega Beams and even a supernova explosion before. He has heat vision that rivals the heat of a star, a super breath that allows him to generate hurricane force winds, and he can, can chill his breath to freeze opponents as well. He has superhuman senses. He's an expert combatant being trained by Batman and other great martial artists, but he usually sticks to a brawling style of fighting due to his strength. So, in strength, I'd give the slight advantage to Superman, as he just has more impressive feats. But Blue Marvel is more than capable enough to hang with, with him. <clears throat> Same goes for durability as well. Superman just takes the slight advantage. Superman is clearly faster though. Like Blue Marvel has never been seen moving at light speed, while Clark has been seen moving faster than light speed several times. So, Superman is physically superior to Blue Marvel, but Blue Marvel has held his own against Sentry, someone who's just as fast, durable, and strong as Clark, so physicality won't be the deciding factor. And while Clark is physically better than Blue Marvel, Blue Marvel has more versatility. Superman only has his heat vision and super breath, while Blue Marvel has his antimatter. Let's not forget that one gram of this equals to one of the nukes dropped in World War II. And with him being able to control how destructive these blasts are, he could just project a barrage of maximum powered blasts, which would probably take Superman down. Two things against this though. One, <clears throat> Clark is just so much faster and will be able to dodge most of these. Two, Blue Marvel is a bona fide good guy. He hardly ever kills and wants to cause the least amount of destruction po as possible. So he wouldn't do that unless he had to as a last resort. So at the end of the day, Blue Marvel has the potential to beat Superman. But due to his good nature and Clark's much greater speed, Superman is winning this fight. Like and subscribe, all the great stuff. See you on the next one. Peace. Have a good day.